Produced by Rob, James, and Mammoth Events. This event is sponsored by Verbella. And now, from the sold out virtual EXP Growth Summit, introducing from the blue corner, fighting out of Puerto Rico, weighing in at 2.78 million shares and 27,000 agents, the current and reigning world champion, the legend, Big Papa Gene Frederick. Introducing from the red corner, a young man fighting out of Sacramento, California, weighing in at 30,000 shares and over 13,000 agents, presenting the challenger, Maximus Ray. All right. Well, Gene, did you like the introduction? Unbelievable. <laughs> you didn't know you didn't know that was gonna happen, did you? I had no idea. No, we, we, we had a little surprise for you, and uh, it was hard for me to keep that. We've been we've been holding that under ropes for about two weeks. I don't think anybody knew we were gonna do that. Anyone, we didn't tell anyone we could get back to you. Was it entertaining? That was fun. I, I I don't know where you got that picture from, but uh, I like the blue corner. Uh, you, like can, uh, you can get James and, and Rob there. So anyways, <laughs> well, hey, man, great to have you on. We're excited to have you on today's uh, virtual growth summit. We got a great day planned. We have some amazing speakers coming up. So sit tight. But um, I asked you to jump on And are you in Puerto Rico right now? Are you in your lake house? Are you in Breckenridge? Where are you? I'm at my lake house uh, about an hour east of Dallas. And I call this lake house the uh, lake house that EXP built. Nah, you know, how'd they build it? Well, like in what way? Yeah, well, we redid it about a year and a half ago and added about 1,500 square feet. It's about 4,000 square feet now. and Right there on the water, and you got Scoot, yep. Susan, the ski boat. She's happy as could be. That's awesome. Dreams yeah, come true, yeah. baby. Well, I asked you to come on and just share some vision with us kind of where EXP is today, maybe where we've been, where we are today, and where we're headed. And so I'd love to hear from you kind of what some of your thoughts are about where the love boat is going, EXP. Well, I'll, thanks for asking. You know, it's been, uh, you know, it's fun from the very beginning, Brent, as you know, how do we make real estate fun again? How have we made real estate fun again? You think about this. It's been my goal from the very beginning with Glenn, Jason, everybody. Um, how do you give people, uh, uh, to me, making real estate fun again is giving them financial freedom. As you know, that's what we're doing. If you give somebody financial freedom, guess what's happening, guys? You can do anything you want, right? You asked me, am I in Breckenridge? Wait, am I in Dallas? Yeah. I'm in Puerto Rico where I live, right? Um, it's amazing what's happened to my life in the last five years. I want to give you for some perspective. You know, it's really funny. We, you and I have talked about this, Brent, so many times. Who dominated the 70s, Century 21? Yep. 80s, Remax. 90s, Realogy, right? 2000, KW. 2010, Brookshire Hathaway when they, brought per, when they bought Prudential. What's, what's common, guys, with all those five above us? They were franchises. Yeah, franchises. They, they were tops down. The owner was the focus. Here's what's exciting to me, where we're going. What's happened to us in the last five years is we have created a brand new model, period. When you get to be the new model, when you get to be the one that's the outlier, the one that's doing everything totally different, everybody's looking at you like it's just not going to work, right? So what's exciting to me, I want to give you guys a few facts you can use over the last three years. Gene, Gene I uh, want to, before you do the facts, can I just jump in just for yeah. one second? I remember seeing Netflix going, that'll never work. Oh, and then yeah. Airbnb, who wants to stay at somebody's house in their bed? That'll never work. I was the guy at Uber, some 
weirdo drive me around. That'll never work. I'm probably the worst, most guilty of that. But now getting to be on the front end of an Amazon, on the front end of YouTube or a Google, it's the most exciting thing in the world. So I'm with you. I just want to give you your, your right. Well, you know, here's the thing. We didn't, you know, <laughs> we've never got to do any of that. I was in one of the first Ubers in San Francisco when I used to own that region. I remember getting in an Uber and the guy goes, I said, what's this? He goes, watch this. And he just gets on his phone and calls it up and it shows up. And I go, this is kind of cool. Now, here's the thing about real estate. All of those five I mentioned to you before, old fashioned models, the same model, the same model, right? Bricks and mortar. You got to come into the office, right? Well, 2020, guys, I'm so excited because we're finally hitting 2020. 2020 is going to be our decade, guys. I mean, not just a little bit of a decade. Just imagine what we're going to do. So let me give you some stats of what's happened the, just the last three years. Oh, since Brent's been here, you know, last almost four years. Um, and this is really important to look at. The last three years, this is exciting. I just pulled this up today for the fun of it. In December 2017, Brent, our stock EXPI, which is EXP World Holdings, $7.70. $7.70. And, and that day, we traded 40,000 shares of stock. Okay? And we had 6,500 agents. Three years later, what are we going to end this year in? I'm gonna, here to expand. I don't know if you guys saw... Uh, our founder, Glenn, did a short little video this morning to say hi to us. And he mentioned that we're over 34,000 agents, right, at the end of August. My prediction is, with our next guest and everything else that's going on, there's no doubt in my mind we'll go over 40,000 by the end of this year. I'm thinking more like 42, 40, 42. So how did we go in three years, Brent, three years from 6,500 agents to 40,000? Man, dude, I mean, this is exciting. And of course, I know you guys never check the stock, do you? I know. I just check it all the time, right? What's it right now, Brett? What, what's the stock right now? Um, they have my phone. Throw me my phone. $43.99. All right. So let me see. Is it on your phone there? Let, yeah, the, $44. $43.99. $43 well, right there, baby. So, so you think we've gone from $7.70 to $44. Are you kidding me? You know, you and I didn't talk about this three years ago. We didn't. We just talked about, hey, let's let's do it. Let's grow. Let's get it. So what I'm excited about is, hey, you know, you and I have talked about this. When I talk about making real estate fun again, um, six months ago, I thought Zoom was what my granddaughter did on her bike. <laughs> I'm just being real with you, right? That's In other words... I had no idea what Zoom was, right? We, 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 we didn't know. Now you've yeah. got a background. We've got all kinds of stuff. You look so good. Um, I tell people now, Brent, we bought Verbella two years ago. We bought our platform. And everybody poo-pooed us when we bought it two years ago. Like, what are they doing? Why are they spending all that money? Guess what? Six months from now, everybody in our business will be going, I wish I had a Verbella. They'll know what Verbella is. Just like I talked about Zoom, they'll be talking about Verbella. Nice. It's a game changer. Right. Oh, it's yeah. A, I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're doing in the cloud what every other real estate company wish they could. Right. Let me give yeah, you an they example. They say they're cloud-based, but it's emails and YouTube. We actually have places we can go and meet and gather besides just this. This is a great platform, but they actually have – house hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of staff and employees to support exp it's pretty cool conference room well, what's really kind of exciting about it is uh, just so you guys know i'm getting calls brent you're getting calls from other brokers i talked to a broker the other day that's had their brokerage firm for 25 years um good good 350 agents and they admitted to me they go gene this covid thing we haven't opened up our office in six months. They're in a different country, by the way. Not just, this isn't in, even in the U.S. And they looked at me and they went, we got to get on the technology side. What you guys have is what we need. Yep. And they realized because of COVID, their agents aren't coming back in. They've been gone for six months. 
Let's face it. And but every see, single broker is saying they call you irrelevant until they call you for advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's true. And it's true. It's like, how are you guys doing this? Yeah. What's Verbella? Yeah. Is that like Zoom? They yeah. go, no, no, we were before Zoom. I mean, yeah. this thing is, our, our staff is in there. They go, what? Guess what? Yeah. They're signing up. Oh, yeah. You go into the marketing department and there's employees. That's not a Zoom. You go into accounting right. and there's staff. You go into brokerage operations. You can talk to any broker in any state, any province of Canada, the world. They're there. They're at their desk. You can poke your head in the office, go, hey, you got a minute? And they go, sure. And you can click on this virtual seat. You're sitting in front of them. You're face to face. And if you wear glasses, your avatar has glasses. If you have a beard, your avatar can have a beard. You know, the one thing, if you're trying to get in shape like me, all avatars are in shape. You don't have to worry. About <laughs> well, you know, and here's the thing. And, you know, I bought in five years ago. I got news for you. I just went, I'm in. Do you know we have close to 5,000 agents in Texas with yeah. bricks and mortar? Yeah. Could you imagine, and you were with Remax once, you were with KW once, right? You and I both traveled the same, right? Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if you went to Dave Linegar and said, I, I think I can get 34,000 agents in all 50 states with no bricks and mortar? No yeah, regional yeah. No. directors, no yeah. owners, no franchises. All that expense is gone. There's no international company. Yeah. That's gone. He would go, well, how do we do it? Exactly. We have a local brokerage here. They go, we now have 25 offices. And now we have 37 offices. And now we have 58 <laughs> offices. They're bragging on their overhead. It's like, oh, my gosh. Because when, when the correction comes, it'll be like a ball and chain around the neck. And it's going to be devastating to them. I, I wouldn't be bragging on your overhead. Well, We've changed the industry forever. Now, what we did, and, and, and I tell the story uh, five years ago, well, six years ago when I met Glenn, the stock was 18 cents a share. I said, is this real? He goes, yeah. I said, so it's common shares. Yep, there's no preferred shares, common shares. We can all have shares. I said, Glenn, you've changed the industry because I know real estate agents. I've been with KW for 21 years. There's the amount of shares I had. Remax. Yeah. Right. Same here. So now I get calls like this morning, just this morning, I had an agent. They said, well, Gene, I only have 60,000 shares. What? I said, you have 60,000 shares. Yeah. They've been with us for about four and a half years. They go, yeah, but that's not very many. I said, do you understand it's $40 a share? You have $2.4 million worth of shares. They went, w -w -w -w. you know, they about, you what? In other words, that agent who had never accumulated anything at anywhere else is now a millionaire. Mm -hmm. That's we what have we're another, doing. We have another agent in Austin, right? And and he was thinking about going back. And we said, have you looked at how much stock you have? And he's like, no, no, I don't pay attention to that. Because he's just selling real estate. He's not doing what you and I do, building a company. Like you've won through the stock awards over a million dollars worth of stock. And he's like, What? And so he decided to stay with EXP because I didn't know I had all that value. That was when the stock was $10 a share. Now he has $4 million. And that was literally right. just over the past, wow, I have another agent also going to sell real estate. Now she sells 70 homes a year. She's a little maniac. Luann, I love her. She's watching. Hey, Luann. And I won't give her last name for, for her safety because uh, <laughs> now she has over a million dollars worth of our stock. And, and she's enrolled a few agents, newbies. She's like a mother hen. She loves her newer agents and she helps them. But she hasn't really gone for what we're doing. And she has over a million dollars for her retirement. I said, asked her, Luann, if you would stay at your old brokerage, and I won't say the name out of respect, brokerage everybody knows, has two initials. And if you um, if you had stayed there, what would what would you have today, three and a half years later? She has tr tr uh, trophies and plaques. Trophies and packs and a ball cap saying she's a capper. And I go, was this worth it? She goes, Brent, I'm so glad. I just came because it was you and I trusted you. I followed you. I really wasn't interested in EXP. I kept selling real estate here like I did there. But I have a million dollars in stock. She's like, you have changed my life. She's like, it's pretty cool. And we have people with 100, 300. Uh, Ex-team leader, Sean, won't say his last name, been here 16 months. 
$350,000 worth of our stock when you pull it off. Pretty cool. Anyways, go ahead. I, I, you no, no, no. I, I, well, I think it's worth saying. Uh, the fact is three years ago, let's go back, $7.70. I was excited at $7.70. See, most people weren't. I'm going, I, I was here when it was 18 cents. So I have perspective in the last five years. And I know a lot, most of the people on this have only been with us a couple of years. As you know, it was hard saying who EXP was three, four years yeah. ago, right? Yeah. Every right. time, and you know what's funny? I just had it, Brent, for the first time in about two years. Uh, he was a big time broker. He asked me what EXP stood for. And you know what I said? The fastest growing real estate company on earth. That's good. That's laughing. a great... That's a great, so that's we it. Get that in Wikipedia, right? Right. That. Yeah. The fastest growing real estate. And he just started laughing. He goes, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter what it stands for. Does it? I said, it stands for unbelievable growth. Yeah. Never been done. And by the way, here's what I wanted to say. When I say making real estate fun again, guys, we're just starting. This is just the start. Yep. We, we were just, we're just, just hitting that little tiny tipping point where we're going to go straight up. So I want everybody uh, that's listening today to not think, oh, you missed the boat. Not at all. Glenn, tell them, I, I mean, uh, Brent, tell them how many, I like I, I'll shoot, tell Glenn, I, you look like Glenn. Uh, <laughs> how many agents are we shooting for? You tell them. Oh, I, I firmly believe in the next 10 years, we'll have a million agents worldwide because we're the only company in the world making its agents owners through the stock awards and then sharing revenues because they're owners. And so- if you get revenue, you're a stock a shareholder because you're going to get uh, um, stock from that first closing. And then the more you do, the more you get. The less you do, the less you get. Compensation for contribution. The more you contribute, the more you get. Totally fair. And it's amazing. But we'll be the first company to hit a million. And there's 208 countries and best estimates put the agent broker population at 25 million. So a million is a drop in the bucket, baby. Look out. We're, here comes EXP. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You got to strive for greatness, don't you? Why would you make a small goal? You got to strive for greatness. I got to laugh. I'm going to tell you this story because it was just this weekend. My uh, son-in-law, Brian, and I went to McDonald's. I know nobody did this this weekend, but I had a lot of family here for Labor Day. And I said, I'm going to go for lunch. And I made a lot big order. And I, it, was, it was close to 100 bucks at McDonald's. <laughs> It was all the dollar menu. I mean, I got so much food. And, and it's so funny. We go up to the, to the guy that was at, at, at window number one. And I said, we are just trying to set a record today. And he said, well, you've got to strive for greatness. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it was the better than McDonald's window. I love it. Window number one. <laughs> That is funny. So guys, why not make the big goal? I don't care when we have a million. There's no timetable on it to me, right? There is yeah. no timetable on it to me. You to know me, what I believe, Gene? It is, I believe we're going to hit 100,000 in the next 18 months. You know, maybe it takes us two years, two and a half years, but I believe we'll do it in 18 months. We have so much momentum. And as we bring out in a mortgage and title and verbella and home warranty and Matterport technology companies, not Matterport, and other companies like that, you know, moving hub and all these different things we're bringing on the different verticals, all owned by EXPI World Holdings. And your stock is not in EXP Realty, it's in EXPI World Holdings. As those companies prosper, we prosper. And when all those years at Remax, when the mortgage and title prospered because they had agreements, I didn't prosper even though I was their number one agent. Same thing at my, my old company with two initials. I love them all. Great companies. But I don't know. I like being a part of that rising tide rises all ships in the harbor, all agents. It's pretty cool. And it's so exciting. We, there's so much hope. There's so much help. And um, I call it the love boat, man. EXP is a love boat, man. We're loving people, speaking highly of all brokerages. Again, they're, they're wonderful companies. There's nothing wrong with them. If that's what you want, this is a different model. If this is what you want, and we'll help you do it, right? You you told me you'd help me, and you kept your word. I absolutely love you for that. I bought into your vision. I bought into Glenn Sanford's vision, and it is all coming to pass. And like you said, when we hit 100, oh, I know what I was going to say. Our stock is at 43, almost 44 bucks a share with 34,000 of us. Wait till we have 100. 
I believe the 43 and some change stock we have right now is going to look like a fire sale in the future. Um, I know we're not supposed to do future production, so I'll make the SEC happen and say past performance is no guarantee of future performance and, you know, do your homework. And I'm not telling you when to buy XP stock, but go ahead and win some awards. Let them give it to you for helping our company go. You don't have to buy it. And um, I, I just, I just, wow, it's just, it's going to be a big deal. Well, it's a difference maker, right? We talk about the stock a lot because I always tell people during this pandemic, during COVID, we know that everybody ate chips and stuff. I mean, it was like chip heaven, right? And, and, and I said, if you owned Coca-Cola stock during the last six months, how much Pepsi did you buy? None. You yeah. Know. You'd be buying right. Coca-Cola. You bought Coca-Cola products. And a lot of people go, well, no, not really. I said, yes, you would, because you own it. We own EXPI together. It's the biggest difference maker, I told Glenn from the beginning. This is real. And by the way, Glenn invented that in 2013. A lot of people think he had it from the beginning. He didn't. He told me uh, that he was thinking bigger. He says, Gene, I got to think bigger. He did a reverse merger on a corporation in Canada. And... 2013 is when we had EXPI started, EXP World Holdings. And I told him, I said, that is the big thing for me because I want agents to stay. I want, I want to create wealth for agents. And all of them, as you know, won't, won't attract agents. They won't get on the revenue share side, but that's okay. The ones that do, we have three buckets of income, right? Sales. We're going to help you sell all kinds of homes. Stock more income and revenue share. Pick pick a couple of them and just just focus. And by the way, don't you think it's funny that a couple of years ago I was rereading a transcript from somebody who said that we don't sell real estate. Isn't that the funniest thing? Remember when that was it? Oh, all they do oh, yeah. is grow really big and I'm going, oh, yeah. have they seen real trends? Have they seen uh, Stephen Murray's real trends or, or uh, Stefan Swanpool's report? I mean, we are selling real estate like crazy, even more than I, we're growing. I did some calculations on my organization. And uh, from my calculations, this year, by the end of the year, we will close escrow on over 40,000 homes throughout the United States. Just not EXP, just my little thing, my little nothing, nothing thing that you helped me build, over 40,000 closings. I mean, it's unbelievable, the power of this. So I agree. Now, let me ask you, how many leases did you sign? Uh, none. Well, I have a one-year lease here in Regis. This is my office. <laughs> but I do have a one, and it's, it, it, you know, I, I signed that lease at 950 bucks a month. A lot of overhead there, right? Yeah, no copiers, no furniture, no, because you're in Regis. Well, um, they got everything for me. Right, right. So, so here's the thing. We've changed the way brokerages are run. You can't have this explosive growth with top, top agents without creating something totally different. That's what we've done. Absolutely. We, we've done it together. Thank you for being on today. Um, any final, we got like one minute left, a minute and a half left. Any final word of wisdom? If someone's out there and um, and they want to jump in and go, you know, that's it. I'm joining EXP or I'm in EXP and I need to launch. <clears throat> you know, what word of advice? What's the one thing that you think they could do? Maybe that well, would really help them grow this year. Here's my thing. I had a new agent just yesterday ask me, well, I'm just new. I don't know if I could attract anybody. I said, look, your enthusiasm for the business, just be, be you. You'd be surprised how many new agents attract people just from their excitement in the business. And here's the thing I will tell you. Uh, five years ago, I was at a convention of ours, and we had 38 people in the room five years ago and three months ago. And they asked me, and I told everybody, take a look around. Here's what I'm going to tell everybody right now on this call. Look at, look at your environment. Look who's sitting next to you. Look at whatever. Get a feeling for this. Because, guys, I told them five years ago, we'll never be this small again, ever. Guess what? This is the beginning for EXP. So guess what, guys? Take a look around. We'll never be at 34,000 agents again. Get ready. Love it. Gene, I remember being a guest. I was a Keller Williams agent, ex-team leader. I was in San Antonio at the Westin, and you guys had a toast in your suite, 
And there were like 50 of us jammed in there with champagne glasses. I think we had sparkling wine or something, you know, and, and we all poured some little toast and, and your whole business fit your little suite. And today, <laughs> you know, 27, 28, I don't know how many, you have tens of thousands of agents. And I, but I was there for that vision that you said will never be this small again. You were right. And I believe you today. So exciting. Thank you for being on today. And you are the uh, legend. You are everything that our special uh, uh, announcer gave you, right? How'd you like that intro? Wasn't that great? I liked it. <laughs> Thank God, Father. I don't know what he I'm said, popping, but it, the Papa, Papa, whatever, <laughs> Big Papa. He called you Big Papa. Um, that guy, he he did you right, and you're everything he said. We're so grateful to have you at EXP as one of the many of our greatest leaders. I believe you're one of the, the greatest the country the, we've ever seen. I'm grateful. Have a great day. Enjoy the lake house there. And, Thank um, you, guys. Tell Susan Bye -bye. I said it. Okay. Yeah, here she says hi. James says hi. Rob, the whole got my whole staff here. We'll see you, buddy. Thank you. Adios. Love you. Bye bye. Okay, we're gonna bring up our next speaker, and we have in the house. There she is. She's already up. Ooh, the technology behind me is good. They're on it. <laughs> Tina, call now. Tina, thank you for being on. So not everybody knows you, uh, but so tell everyone where are you from. How long you've been in real estate, you know, a little bit about your background prior to and how long you've been at EXP. Let's we'll start with a little bit of background on Tina Call. Yeah. So, um, so again, Tina Call from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I've been in Raleigh 10 years, but I grew up in Michigan. I've been in the industry for 20 years selling real estate full time. It doesn't so, look like it. Well, you know, real estate's been good to me, but I stopped it. <laughs> Started at 22. I'm 42 uh, this year, so I made it 20 years. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I've been, um, uh, when I moved here 10 years ago, I started with Remax and I was there eight years. I loved it. Um, I joined Keller Williams for a couple of years and then, you know, a friend of mine brought me EXP. I couldn't look away. And so in April of 2019, I joined EXP, so about 16 months ago. Okay. So You've been in EXP for 16 months. You and I had the same journey, Remax, then Keller, and EXP. I'm 24 yeah. years, you're 22, 20 years. So we had very similar parallel stories. And I love my experience at Remax, love my experience at Keller Williams. Grateful to both companies. If you're out there watching, we love you. And then, um, then we came to EXP. A lot of people know my story. So you got here just 16 short months ago. Yes. Tell us what your experience has been. Uh, has it meant something to you? Has it been ho-hum? Just was it like remaxing in Keller, but now it's EXP? Or what's different and what has happened for you? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, people move brokerages for different reasons, right? So depending on their business at that point, I came to Remax just because it was one of the bigger names in town. I was new in the area, didn't know a soul 10 years ago. So I joined and it was great. They kind of leave you alone. They put you in the corner and say, go sell some homes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the only reason I left, I was still happy, but I left because financially I was at a crossroad. I had sold 130 homes personally that year. I know. And so I had no work-life balance. I was a workaholic. I know. Um, and so when you're looking to grow income and you're one person with my husband and, a, and an assistant, you need leverage, right? So you need to grow a team. And so I needed to take the eighty, ninety thousand $90,000 a year I was paying Remax and then position myself to where I could hire an operations manager, more staff to help me scale. And so I went to Keller because it could cap me and that made financial sense to me. Um, so when I was there, I started to build the team and we went from myself and two other buyer agents selling 170 homes to 10 agents. We're going to do 400 homes at 120 million at EXP this year. So we grew um, from Keller 72 million to 120 million. So the reason I came to EXP for me was I realized that as I was building this team, I truly wasn't gaining freedom. Financial freedom to me is more time, right? I knew how to make money. I knew how to make millions of dollars. Um, so you can be rich by earning money, but you can be financially free by creating wealth and wealth brings freedom. So I woke up one day and said, man, I'm just a really high paid employee of my business. That's it. I haven't built anything because my team is nothing without my production. And so I needed to learn how to create passive revenue streams. 
And so before I joined EXP, Brent, I probably never told you this, but I was actually going to buy a trailer park and I was going to invest a quarter of a million dollars and buy this park and create $15,000 a month in, in passive income. Sounds and I was going to, right? Right. I mean, it's not a sexy project, but it's, it's very profitable. And so I was going to do that twice and I was going to create $30,000 a month in revenue and do this and, and have financial freedom. Um, before I did that though, a friend of mine said, Hey, look at EXP because you can become sort of like an owner and build your team and build EXP and create revenue streams that you never had access to before. And so, you know, I, I had been approached before for a couple, couple times by different EXP agents that it just didn't resonate with me at the time. I wasn't ready. I wasn't open. Like you said, you got to find people that are open to the opportunity. Um, but because I had pain points and I was open and my key word was residual passive income, um, that resonated with me at the time. And so what I am surprised about, though, is you come for one thing, but you're so shocked by something else. And the something else I'm shocked about is that um, I'm able to download my brain into others, but they, they get to learn and grow. And we've created this community, this village of agents helping agents, helping agents, helping agents, right? I mean, it, it truly is a village. And when, when they say, you know, to raise a family, it takes a village. It, it takes a village to run a brokerage. You can't let one BIC and one team leader and one person help 300 people. Um, right. So what I found is at EXP for us, the 14 people I brought over turned into 300 people in 16 months. Wow. But now all of us are helping one another. So it's not all on me. It's all of us financially aligned together. So that's probably the coolest part of the experience so far is that I'm able to have that passion again of growth, which has been awesome. I love it. And um, that is a beautiful story. I want to roll it back, though, to when you started EXP. Do you remember when you started? A, were you nervous at all? B, Heck did people yeah. tell you you were crazy? Yeah. C, did you think, oh, my gosh, am I going to be able to even sponsor anybody? I mean, yeah. what was your, I mean, I remember kind of feeling nervous, and but yeah. I'm not really shot. If I fail, I'll just go back to wherever I came from, Remax or yeah. in my case, Keller Williams. What were your thoughts? I want to hear a little yeah. bit about so that. Um, for me, like I've always been a little bit of a risk taker because no risk, no reward, right? So my feeling was it's $149. I was leaving Keller anyway to go independent. So this was my last stop before going independent. So I really truly had nothing to lose, but my ego could be bruised, right? I could come to EXP, fail, not like it, change brands. Within two years, I went to Keller. Now I'm going to jump brands again. That goes through my what's mind. What are my, gonna look like? what's that going to look like? What are the customers going to think? What are my peers going to think? They're going to think well, I've what, lost my what mind. What did your customers think? Just on that note, did your customers care? Well, what's funny, Brent, when we moved from Remax to Keller, we called everybody and they kept saying, well, wh where were you before? Well, this call group going to shut down? They were confused that we were leaving, you know, call group. And so when we left, when we left Keller to go to EXP, we didn't tell a soul and it was the easiest transition. We just and changed the logo. Cared. They nobody didn't care. Our cared. business went up, right? We well, went the up. Agents, the agents will notice and some of them will say, you're crazy. You've lost your the mind. Agents notice. And you know, what's funny yeah. is when I moved to, you know, when I moved to Keller, you know, I got a lot of fun, exciting, you know, things said to me. And then when I left, it was, you don't go, you're going to fail. It doesn't work. Recruiting is hard. They kept telling me recruiting is hard. You'll see. And I said, well, I'm not going to recruit. I, I'm, done, I'm going because I want the stock. I want the, 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 the camaraderie, right? And people at EXP seem to be having fun. Um, and what's funny is the first two top agents in the market called me within the first week of leaving. I mean, they yeah. basically said, well, one of them was Marty Hampton, who you know. And yeah number one Remax agent in the world calls you and says, what are you doing? And we tell me talk. more, right? We need to talk. Cause she's a business person. She had been Is watching she still at Remax. No, she's at EXP now. I know. I know. I just had <laughs> yeah. to ask you. Well, I know, right? Just put a little bow on that one. So right. now, but, she's you know, here. now she's here. So, so what's funny is I didn't have to recruit. We're attracting people. You know, yes. our vibe is attracting agents. They want to be part of the culture. And, and 14 is not 440 or 1400. It's, it's 14. 
you attracted some agents and they tried. Now you have 300, but then yeah. you became 300. If 10 people in those 300 do what you did, you're going to have 3,000, right? You're going to. Well, exactly. You're... I mean, in, in those 14, my 14 team, my team, I attracted 56 people in total in 16 months. So 56 yeah. agents, right? Turned into 300. But the reality is we did it together. Those 56 right. have to grow. Um, and, and each of them have these little teams. Each of them have these opportunities to, to now, grow. People here, they said, well, if you go to eXp, it might affect your sales. It might affect your sales. So let's talk about that. I think you mentioned it real quickly. Yeah. Your sales, and, and they say it might affect your sales. They mean that in a bad way. But they, they mean it in a bad way. They'll be like, my sales, like, are you crazy? Yeah. I will see. You'll be so distracted. You need to stay oh, in your lane. Right. You know, it's like someone telling you you're a buyer's agent. Don't you dare become a listing agent. That's stay right. in your lane. You're a buyer's agent. And then when you go to listing agent, like, oh, God, this is so much better. I can have a life. I'm not run yeah. all over town. You know, yeah. I can control. I got leverage. You got to list the last. And then it's like someone saying, well, you can't do that. Stay in your lane. Just sit there and lay eggs you know, and, and make sales. So you mentioned you were at X number of sales at Keller Williams. And then yeah. what happened? What, what, say so that we again. We were at in the 72 or it was 72 or 78 million total. And in the 16 months we've been at eXp, we will be close to 120 million this year. It affected your sales. It, it did. Be honest. It did affect it. <laughs> it affected it in a positive way. Yeah, but it, is, uh, it is nervous when people that you respect look at you and go, this is going to affect your sales and it's not yes. going to be good. They said the same thing to me. Yeah. And here's what happened. Um, nine months after joining EXP, I smashed all my sales records I yeah. ever set yeah. at Remax and in, 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 at Keller Williams. I broke them all. I had my most profitable months ever at yep. a company nobody's ever heard of. Heard of. Right. The cons what were the consumer think? They don't care. Well, they buy they care. you. Yeah. If you think they're buying Berkshire Hathaway or Century 21 or Remax or Keller, you are, you got, you are obviously don't have a lot of experience yeah. in real estate. It's no. you, baby. You are the it package. Is. Yeah. And is there, I think there's this collective consciousness of excitement, right? We all come into this with a renewed energy of opportunity. You have new opportunities set forth in your path and you go, okay, well now I can attract agents and align with them and grow this thing. Now I don't get glass trophies anymore. I get stock. I mean, just the two icon awards, because I icon within a month. So if you're an agent out there and you sell in my market about 30 homes, the two awards I got made me $120,000 of stock in my account that's sitting there. Now, now I actually used 5% of each commission check and bought stock at a discount. And I have 13,000 shares of stock, which is today worth 540,000. Half so a million. It's yeah. a half a million dollars in stock plus, yeah. stock. I mean, it's six, 700,000. That doesn't well, include. Question. If yeah. you had stayed at your old brokerage without saying yeah. the name of the old brokerage, I'm going to mention yeah. it back, but the yeah. if you stayed at your old company, yeah. 16 months went by, what would you have if you had stayed there? You'd have plaques and trophies, right? Yep. Well, I had I had a stack of they they didn't even give you glass anymore. Every month you got a piece of paper, you know. Yeah. And I just I threw it in the corner. I mean, not to 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 fuse what it was. I mean, I was proud of it, but it was just kind of like here's another one. Here's it doesn't another. pay the bills. It doesn't pay the bills, and so there was nowhere else to go. And I think here's the biggest thing for people like me that are driven. I was at Remax. I was the number one agent at Keller Williams. I was the number one agent at EXP. Now I'm I'm. I'm attracting top agents. So Marty's probably going to kick my butt this year. So I got to be on my best game. But most agents like me say, what's next? What's next for us? We need a yeah. what's next. And so this gives us the new challenge of how big can I grow this, right? How can I go to 50 states? Can I go international? That's what we want as driven entrepreneurs. What's next? And nobody can answer that for me. I can't. I, I had three. James, remember when we had honey? James, Kathy, remember when we had three hundred agents? I'm not your honey. Now I'm talking. <laughs> honey's over there. That's my wife to my right. James over here. I did not call James honey ever. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you dude or bro. Yeah. But um, okay. you remember when we had three hundred agents? Absolutely. And then today, are we in all fifty states? All fifty. Every province of Canada. Every province. That's open. That's open, yeah. That's open for okay. you. Right. 
Australia and the UK and we're about to go and see. It's crazy. What, it's going to happen. It's and it's going to happen crazy. for me. It'll, and yes. I tell people, they're like, well, look at Brent. And look, Brent's got time on us. He's got three years. You got three more years than I have. Call me in yeah. three years and we will be in all 50 and states. And I have movie star good looks. I know. Yes, you do. You do. Kind of face and body. <laughs> He's I, so I handsome. And that's why you bring it up. anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just your handsomeness. That's what recruits yes, all these my, my yeah. animal magnetism. That's right. So it's too funny. Um, yeah. I, I wrote this down though. Um, I had 15 agents on my team at Keller yeah. and I paid 27,000 a year. They paid half caps, which you think yeah. half of 27 would be 13.5. 13, so now yeah. a half cap was 18,000. So if you multiply 15 times 18,000, I was paying 270,000 a year to Keller Williams yeah. plus my 27. Right. Yeah, uh, let me see. Yeah, that in here, and boom, two hundred and ninety-seven thousand years. What I was paying to operate my team, yeah. I never. I was there eight years. I never got the twenty-seven thousand back I paid in. Yeah. Every year, the sixteen thousand cap, which is a less, giving me more money for marketing. Sixteen, I get back in the Icon Award, and yeah. then that, that award double, triple, quadruple, all that. Like, well, yeah, but that was then. Now the stock hit forty. I go, you guys. In five years, 43 a share is going to sound like a fire sale. It is I agree. so exciting. I agree. It's very exciting. And, you know, when you think about the, the tech companies, the true tech companies, Amazon and Uber and Netflix and Airbnb doesn't own real estate. I mean, we are right there with the giants. Um, it's just the next phase of real estate. I love this when, when Michael Valdez talks about during COVID, we literally didn't get on a plane and we expanded to five countries from our laptops. Like if that's not scalability, if that's not excitement, that's crazy. It's crazy. So uh, yeah. I was by, the, by my pool, the waterfall out in California, yeah. the palm trees, and I'm on my laptop and it's just booming. Yeah. It's so exciting. And um, when I was at my old brokerage, yes, we'd all meet each other and help each other. But I go back to my room and then Tom Davis, who was the number one Keller Williams agent seven know, times. Yeah. And he kept saying six times and they sent him a letter saying, if you, you better stop saying six times, we'll, we'll sue you. We'll, we'll see you in court. Yeah. And he went, found all his trophies that said number one worldwide. It was actually seven times. Seven. And he sent yeah. pictures of all the trophies. He says, well, <laughs> if I wasn't, it's your error. And he right. never heard back from him. They didn't say boo. But he was number one in the world seven times wow. in the next 17 years. When Tom did all that, what did it mean to my fi family financially? Didn't mean boo. And okay. so your company now and agents excel in New York and oh, Florida, it's exciting. And Ontario and British Columbia yes. and, Canada and Alaska. EXPI thrives. And if they thrive, my stock, thrive. your stock, our yes. words, we thrive. So right. it means something if someone sells 500 homes a year in San Diego yes. or South Dakota. We one team, one dream. It's that EXP love boat. I love it. Okay, so I want to transition on you a little bit. Yes. We were talking earlier this week, and of course, people see you. Well, yeah, she's super successful, and Brent had a team, and and he did well. You know, but could somebody new do this? Well, you were telling me about Jennifer, and yeah. and I don't want to say her wrong last name wrong. How do I say her last name? Cervera. 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 Yeah, Jennifer Cervera. Cervera. I got it right. Jennifer yeah. Cervera. James wrote on a piece of paper and he, the, the R looked like a C, so I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Jennifer Cervera. Oh, she's here. She's, she's here. here. Coincidentally. <laughs> wow. What a coincidentally. She, coincidentally, she happens to be on here. Now, Jennifer is, I think, newer to real estate than we are. So, Jennifer, yeah. welcome. How do we get her to be the big gallery picture right now? Right now, do we hit gallery or no. Leave it like this for recording. Okay. So okay. Jennifer, we, for recording this, we can't, but um, welcome. Good to have you here. Yep. Good to be here. Yes. Oh, there you are. Now I can see you. Um, you, you shifted. You were a little tiny square on my computer. It shows you how techie I am. I don't even know how I to know. Start. You're so techie. <laughs> Sounds like us. I'll let Tina introduce you. Tina, tell us a little about who Jennifer is okay. and what she's done and how long. And then Jennifer, we want to hear from you, but first kind of explain who she is and what she's about. Yeah, so um, so I met Jennifer about a nine, or 10, 11 months ago. She was a newer agent. She had been on her own for a year and she was kind of looking, I think what intrigued her was mentorship, you know, to come. She always says success leaves clues. So if I could work alongside you, Team Call, that would be great. And so she joined my team and I, she didn't have one aspiration of recruiting or anything. She wanted to learn how to sell real estate in a high volume. And what was interesting is 
within that 10 months that she's been here, she has been attracting agents. And when you think about Jennifer, you know, she's a little couple years in the business. She attracted, I think, seven agents that now has turned into a team of 35. She's buying her first home, which is going to be, she could afford probably a million dollar house today and EXP would pay for it monthly. Thank you, Rep. So, that is cool. On her rep share. So I just am so proud of her because now she has skipped the trajectory of, okay, Brent, you and I are 20 years in the business. We can go open up a Remax now and be owners. She's that an owner was today. the next step, right? That yeah, was the next step. Yeah. yeah. So she, her trajectory goes from agent to owner to shareholder to immediately wealth building. I love wow. that. I love that. So Jennifer, how old are you? You look very young to me. Well, thank I know you're you, best friend. Woman, because you look so young, I'm going to ask. I'm 32. I'm 32. 32. You look like you're 26. Here soon. You look like you're 26. <laughs> well, thank you and, for that. And, and I know Tina said, but I was distracted by something. About how, how long have you been in real estate? Two years. This is Two my years. second year. Mm -hmm. Started in 2018. Um, so this will be my second year. You're doing so good. So how do you, you were, you were at the old company and now you made the switch to EXP with Tina, right? Right, right. So it's um, it's interesting how things, you know, kind of play um, a, a long branch. I, I feel like when you put out your intentions in the world and when you are fo laser focused on it and, you know, what you focus on expands, right? So it's kind of interesting because Tina and I were at the same previous brokerage. We didn't knew each other then, though. And I remember I went to the big annual award ceremony for my previous brokerage and I saw her name and Tina called and she made 80 million in volume, you know, and just, well, just, you know, so well known here and so many things. And, you know, when you are someone with drive and with aspirations and being so new in the business, right, just one year, I was like, well, if I can just get to know her and learn her secrets and, you know, let her know how I can get so good as um, to what she's doing now, that would be the world. Well, you know, as, as the world will have it and, you know, you when you want something, the universe conspires for it, right? We'll know that. So um, fast forward three months um, and, you know, later and, you know, I made Tina call and she was in the process of um, transitioning to EXP. I'm not sure. I think that she had already made the decision. It wasn't quite announced yet, but we had a meeting and she said, you know, this is this is what I'm shooting for. This is what's coming next for me. And the reason for is because... Because I feel like, you know, even if it's someone as new as me or someone that has been 10 years in the business or 20 years in the business, I feel like for the most part, you, you know, you all start experiencing the same pain points as she just said. And so when she, she showed me the video, I remember the EXP Explain video, and she said, what do you think of this? And I said, well, you know, gosh, I don't know if this is because I'm so new to it. But this looks awesome. This looks like I want to be part of it, you know, right. to, to be able to have there exactly to be able to have the opportunity of, you know, coming to with this new model. And it's what's, you know, here to stay. And, and we continue to see how it grows year over year. And I can only, you know, wait to imagine what, you know, it's going to be here for us. When I saw it, and I was like, I, I believe in the business. So first and foremost, when I saw the business model, I loved it. I, I thought that it was a great opportunity for me to, to you know, tag along and, and you yeah. know, make that dream of mine a reality to be able to be, to be in business with her. So then my, my next thing was, do I want to be on a team or do I want to be an independent agent? My thing was like, I, I had done my fair share on the buy side and I wanted to learn how to list homes and sell and sell with good, good systems and a good volume, right? So that I, I decided that I wanted to join the team and, um, and but but this time joining a team had a different feeling for this for, for the following reason before i always thought that if i join a team well i don't want to strain that relationship when the time comes if i ever want to leave right because my mentor poured everything into me and now i'm gonna feel terrible leaving and knowing that she's gonna have to start all over again well with exp it was different because i understood that even if you know if the time ever came and i was going to transition because we were financially aligned that was always going to be there and to stay 
So Beautiful. from there on, I joined um, EXP, um, you know, on, on Tina's team. And I loved it so much. I remember we went to um, the EXP conference in Vegas. And when I saw you and when I saw everyone else talk, my financial cap just raised one again, you know, once again, and it exploded. So when I came back, I said, well, you know, maybe if they, if they've been doing it, maybe I can do it. You know, maybe this is an opportunity that's there for me too. Not and so what I did, eyes, right? Exactly. Your eyes open real, real big. Exactly. So what I did was I started talking to the people that I, that I knew, that I knew from my previous brokerage and just from, you know, I feel like to be able to be good in sales, you have to be a good connector. You have to be able to just have a conversation with people and come from taking a genuine interest in them. And, and you know, that, that's all it is. And so, um, you know, gratefully enough, I have done that um, in the past that when I transitioned and I started having these conversations, you know, five people raised their hand and then two other more people raised their hand. And I understood that it was because it wasn't what was in it for me. It was about, you know, them having the opportunity of growth and them having the opportunity to collaborate and to join forces with the bigger teams in our area. You know, the Tina Coles, the Sharon Evans, the Marty Hamptons. And I still, you know, I still pinch myself friend to be completely honest of how grateful I am you know two years in the business and I'm learning from the very best and wow. so I think that you know if you if you are able to understand that and if you're looking for the people that are looking for you because I always say you know I I, I do not recruit I attract people I want to be in business with people that want to be in business with me and you know and the interesting thing is that here I am you know just two years in the business but I'm attracting 30 million dollar producers 40 million dollar producers that I have you know obviously doing more than I'm doing but it's about that you know it's about but creating those connections, that collaboration that EXP has that, you know, I, I just don't see any other brokerage that has it. And, and that's just, you know, what, what I well, see out there. You're, you're authentic. You're real. You're excited. You're coming from the heart. It's what's in it for them, not me. As a byproduct, there's some beautiful things in it from you. And that's the sure. ultimate way to win. Now, here's the funny. 80% of success is people's psychology. Yes. I, we have you on here as somebody new who's doing well, attracting 30 and $40 million producers and all that. People right now going, yeah, she's got this cool accent. I love it, <laughs> right? Like, I don't have a cool <laughs> Australian accent or English accent or, or uh, this, like, you have a beautiful accent. They're going, that's why. She, I mean, you're always trying to tell yourself why you can't do something. Right. I love the old Henry Ford quote. He says, if you think you can, you probably can. Mm -hmm. And if you think mm -hmm. you can't, you're probably right. And, and so it, we're always kind of, you know, so just this is the next. Welcome yes, exactly. to the next. And uh, exactly. we are so thrilled. Take a chance on us. Take a chance on you. Uh, the capital investment's pretty heavy, $149, but you'll survive. Exactly. <laughs> and it's, it's so cool. So final question, because we have to switch to Michael Valdez, sure, who is the vice president of international growth. He is the man. We are so lucky to have him. You're all about to meet him. He's going to talk about South Africa. He's going to talk about Mexico and these other countries we're going into this year and kind of how to do it right, how to do it wrong. <laughs> so we don't, you don't do it that way. And so we're about to have him on, but just final question. I'm going to start with Tina. Tina, you know, you, you were at Remax, you're at Keller. Now you're at EXP. Is it just, you know, Keller, uh, Remax, Keller, EXP, Coldwell Banker? Is it just like a, what's the difference? Is, is there a, a tangible difference without yeah. any putting and we love Keller Williams and Remax. We are the, oh. but, but what is the honest difference you feel? You got like 30 seconds. How could you encapsulate that? So, so I always say there's five pillars. You've got leads, training, rev share, stock, and healthcare. So every other brokerage is going to promise leads and training, but guess what? You're missing these three. So as go. an entrepreneur, you got to add, keep adding opportunity to your business. I like it. Don't right? be a man or a woman on stilts. It, they always look like they're going to fall over. So right. have, the, have the five. That's, that's beautiful. Five Jennifer, pillars. how about you? What's the difference? Just Is there a difference? Is it the same? Is there really? It's okay. If there's not, tell us. Absolutely not. It's being able to learn from the people that have done it and have gone before you. 
is being yeah. able to have that, you know, that playbook open and being able to have that collaboration that, you know, I, I don't think that that exists at any other brokerage. Awesome. And so I, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about what, you know, our firm and what our brokerage has to have. Yeah. There isn't another brokerage at TXP. That's and I, cool. I need that whether you're a year, five years or 20 years in, the, in this business. I love it. And people say, well, I could do that at any company, but here's the deal. I'm going to fight for you, Jennifer, and this is the first time I've ever met you. I'm going to help you do well, because if you do well, Tina does well. And if well, Tina I, does well, you know, you Michelle does, does right? <laughs> no, no, right? Know, the whole team, yeah. it's not oh, just, it is, you know, if we were in a franchise, the OP does well, and then the owner of the region does well, and the regional manager does well, and then Dave Linegar and all that, and, and Gary Keller and, and Rilogy and Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett. I think he's okay. Yeah. You know, so this is for us, go for us. Welcome to the next. You guys were great guests. Tina, Jennifer, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you guys in Cabo San Lucas in February. Yes. Woo. That'll be fun. fun in person. I'll see you there. You Love guys. you guys. Thank all right. you, friend. Bye. Okay, so next, and uh, and so we're going to transition. Let's go ahead and bring up our next speaker. We have Michael Valdez. He is the Vice President of International for EXP Worldwide. He is the Hello. man. Now, he actually Hello. does have movie star good looks. Look at him. He can definitely <laughs> be in a movie. And so, Michael, uh, I am so thrilled to have you, you here. Welcome. Welcome. Brent, it is so great to be here with you and to have this conversation. It was great. Okay. It was Eso. great to de, hear a little jala. bit of, uh, uh, about Tina and Jennifer before. It was just fantastic. So this is exciting. You look well, brother. Hey, man, I just lost 25 pounds. So Mr. Go, go. Is, is, is drinking his water and being good. So, so being really good. That okay, so... Perfect. Let's talk. So we, we got countries we're going into. Now, before we talk about the fact that we're going into South Africa, that we're going into Mexico, that we're going to France, Portugal, India, and possibly Brazil this year, a little, little sleeper sea biscuit around the corner uh, of the Kentucky Derby there. Before we get into that, not everybody knows you. Tell us a little bit about Michael Valdez. Who are you? What did you do before EXP? Are you just some guy we found with really good looks and bright white teeth and, 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 or, you know, and this, this, and where's a hanky in his pocket? You know, who are you? Tell us who Michael Valdez is. Give us the overview. You like that? That's, that's pretty much it. That's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually, uh, I came from Realogy. You were just mentioning Realogy. And so I was the senior vice president of Realogy for 15 years for International. And so for those that don't know Realogy, because it's not a consumer facing brand, they own Sotheby's, Coldwell Banker, Century 21, ERA, Better Homes and Garden, and Corcoran. And so collectively with all those brands, it was 113 countries and roughly about 300,000 agents overall for Realogy. And so uh, and before that, I was actually director of private banking at Deutsche Bank for 10 years. So I came from the finance side, and then went into real estate, and uh, and then found the light, brother, and uh, <laughs> and then I had a great meeting with uh, with Glenn and uh, and Jason Guessing and Jeff Whiteside, and we had been talking off and on for you know a good six months, and I was talking to a lot of other competitors as well, and you know, and, and really, quite honestly, didn't know enough about the EXP story, and it wasn't really in my radar. And we sat down, and the more I learned about it, it was, there was no other choice. And wow. I just wish I would have done it a lot sooner. And wow, so, wow, wow. sitting here, knowing what that business model is, and it's, uh, it's just extraordinary. Love it. And who yeah. gives you the best introductions? I want to know. Oh, my <laughs> God. I got to tell you. But, you know, it's all it's all good. But listen, I've got to get you on the road with me, because if you think that our lovely guest you just had, Jennifer, had an Australian accent, you got to get no, on no, a no, road no. more, brother. No, no, no. I, I did not. She's Latino. She's, she's, she's my sister here. No, no, no. no. You heard me wrong. I'm saying people are there thinking, well, I don't have a cool accent. I'm not English, Australian, Costa Rican, all that. So, yeah. 
so what accent do you think Jennifer had? What would you say? She's Latina. Latina, there you go. You there know. it is. So and, you know, she's got oh, she, That's 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 the that's there. There it is. Uh, she's a beautiful soul. There's a real chance yeah. I'm moving to Puerto Rico this year, so I'll. I, <laughs> I'm brushing as up is, my yeah, yeah. As is as is Tina. I was so impressed to hear Tina speak, and really, you know, and and the shout out that she gave me. But it was such a true statement where. You know, we're opening five countries and I haven't been on a plane in six months. Wow. You know? And I used to, well, I'm in Los Angeles now, so it's a bit of a fib, but it's, uh, uh, but I wasn't in, uh, for business, I hadn't been on a plane and I averaged 200 days a year and a quarter of a million miles a year when I was traveling with Realogy wow. over all the six brands. So to think, that we are opening five countries without having to jump on a plane on a business aspect to meet with anyone. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Well, welcome to the extraordinary next company. I love it. it we are it totally you is. Guys have no idea. I'm beyond. He is the right guy to take us worldwide. And I'm thrilled you're here. I'm pumped. I'm not, you're not, I'm not kind of excited about you. You are the guy and we're excited. <laughs> so let's talk about, let's, let's switch gears. Yeah. You, got a, you got about 10 minutes here, 10, 15 minutes. Let's Tell them it. about, you know, what countries we're going into next and sure. I want to talk about what to do and what not to do. Everyone's like, well, how do I do it? How do I talk to someone in South Africa or Mexico? Or, yeah. you know, what if I have someone in Thailand or the Philippines, which is not on the radar for this year? Right. So let's first talk about the countries we are going to, what to do and what not to do. Is that fair? Let, yeah. Let's take a step back even a little bit further. So it's the idea of really looking at all of the incredible growth that EXP has done domestically, right? The fastest growing real estate company in America, the explosive growth, the transactional growth, everything that that story is. It is now so much more important that anything that we do from this point on, it builds on that story, right? And so now we're building a global story now we're making sure that we're taking all of those those successes and really getting into that on a global scale so where we actually end up has to be strategic to continue to build that story so you know there it is more important for example for us to fill in central europe to really have that as a footprint for our growth before we go into some of the other countries in Europe, which are beautiful. And, you know, we start thinking about the Czech Republic and Hungary and Romania, and I've had a few calls on all of those. We can't open that first before we open up Central Europe because it helps build the story, right? And so when we start looking at Latin America, when we start looking at where should we be, we have to be in places that are in Mexico. Portugal has, Portugal is actually one of, the uh, the fastest growing real estate company of real estate uh, uh, industries in the world, and it actually was one of the most successful countries for all of the brands of Realogy. So it was really amazing to really have that. They have a golden visa. They have a ten year tax abatement. There's a lot of reasons to be in Portugal. And then we have, of course, France. And France was actually the number two country for all of the brands at Realogy to sort of be there. And right there in France, it's exciting because there's eight different companies that have copied various way, various things of the EXP model. So it's not as though we have to explain the process. Everyone knows the process already. And so our, our greatest competitor is a local brand in France that has over 10,000 agents. Mm. So we are going to come in and poach the hell out of them because we've got a much better model. And so uh, then we've got, uh, we've got India and with 1.3 billion people in India and a million estate agents, it's going to be a very, very great ride for us. And so those are, those are the countries that were selected really, really very strategically as to where we want it to be. And right. so what we're working on with the pipeline behind it is all, the, there's some good stuff there as well. But with the five countries that we did announce, those that's where our singular focus is. We're building technology for this. We've got a great third-party vendor 
Um, we actually had a dry run on the South Africa website this morning. Uh, we're getting really, really close with what is going to be the consumer facing website on all of this. It was a, uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to have all of the steps built and the story is great. You know, I got to tell you, there was one of the very top agencies. This is brokerages. This is somebody that has more than 2000 agents calls me last weekend and says, I think it's time we talk. I was like, sure thing. And so this is one of the calls that I was waiting on. And so we had a conversation, right? And so I didn't call, call them, they called us. And it's like, we understand you're coming to South Africa. We understand you're gonna take agents away from us. We wanna know if we can just work together. And huh. so that's a really place, it's a place of power that you go into at that point. Beautiful. And so that's what we wanna maintain. I love it. So here's, here's something, just a point I wanna make. You hear about, oh my yeah. gosh, they're going to France. Yet this big company with 10,000 agents, which you guys got to understand is it's it's owned by one person or one family who's already made millions. That's right. And so I remember when I left Remax and went to Keller Williams and all my Remax friends were following me, I felt guilty. <clears throat> Finally, the regional manager uh, sat me down and she said, stop feeling guilty. If this is better for their family, their kids, right. then that Remax will be fine. They're a multi-billion dollar. Dave Lineker's a billionaire. He's going to be okay. You need to That's quit right. feeling bad that you're beating up on Remax. If this model, Keller Williams, is better than for them to be at Remax and Keller, don't you apologize. You're helping family. You're helping their children. I go, That's right. he's right. And now <laughs> with that concept, as we go worldwide, if the model is better, like how many of you are glad we don't have to drive down to Blockbuster at seven o'clock on a snowy night to get a movie, risk your life and limb <laughs> to have a movie night. Now you just point and click and you go under, you get your blankets, get the fire okay. on. Or or would you rather be in a yellow cab over an Uber or a Lyft, right? And, and so Amazon, right? Or do you want to just run down and you just, there it is, it's delivered. It's called progress and, okay. and we're changing lives. And, um, you know, funny thing, I'll let you go on, but when Henry Ford invented the Model T, there were 700,000 horse and buggy drivers throughout the U.S. Yeah. I could imagine like that thing scares the horses. And then, and, and then of course, the, the automobile changed the world. And so it's all coming. It's all coming. Okay. So let's, where do you want to go from here? You want to talk about uh, South Africa and Mexico? Where do you want to go? I'll follow you. What do we okay, want to so talk about? Let's talk about South Africa. So I have some questions for you. Sure. Um, when do you anticipate actually opening in South Africa? A week, three weeks, a month, two months? I don't know. What do you, what's, give us some sort of a time frame. I think they're first, followed by Mexico. Is that correct? And, and so I'd love to get some feel. I know it's a moving target. Right. And so it's a moving target because there's a lot of things that are out of our control, Brent, as you know. So we set up a legal corporation in every country that we're in. And so sometimes we've got, you know, some some pushbacks on some challenges, you know, we had some pushbacks on our corporation name in Mexico, and we went and then they their offices were closed during COVID, they've just reopened. And so there's a lot of moving targets that are out of our control completely. And so, um, so we do have a full intent of having South Africa as our next country. Uh, we do, uh, we do anticipate that that will be uh, certainly the next one. Um, it's, 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 it's imminent is what I'll say. It's, uh, I don't, I, I just don't want to give a timeline that I don't, you know, because okay. it's not in imminent. my control and I'm just, imminent. and I'm just a man of my word, as you know. And all so right. I don't want to do a, a, a timeline. I will tell you that all five countries will be open before the end of this calendar year. Cause we, that's what we've announced that what it, that's my truth. And that's what we are going to do. I love it. I love it. Um, uh, okay. And then how about this? When, uh, what, what's the right way if someone has people in South Africa or say Mexico, because sure. yeah. I, I think those are the next two countries. Is that fair to say? So, um, you know, they, they, it could be that something gets moved faster than, than Mexico is. It's sort of like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. There are things that are out of my control. And so if that's out of my control, I, I won't sort of like just be hard about the, the, the methodology of the, of the order it needs to go into. Uh, it could be that something circumvents Mexico, 
because it's just it, it, it the, 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 all of the other components are done faster. And so we'll just do it. So the yeah. order matters less to us. Uh, but in my mind, I would like it to be Mexico. Uh, but I'm working on all of them simultaneously. So it's a horse race. I totally get it. Uh, I have a couple corporations right now. I'm opening a third in Puerto Rico. Yeah. And by the time you get Title 20, Title 22, yeah. it's an eight-month process. My That's friends crazy. who live in Puerto Rico, Sheila Fergeron said, you just got to, things are different here. A project you would expect to get done in a week or two could take three months here. Yeah, so yeah. as much as we want to be, you know, go, 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 push, 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 type A drivers, Listen, it doesn't always it, work like that. more type A than me. It's just sort of like, I just like keep going. And so yeah. I, you know, there's, uh, yeah. So it's like, so trust me, it's moving. I love it. So what's the wrong thing to do with sure. South Africa, Mexico, France, Portugal, India, what is the I'm, wrong thing yeah. to do right now? Let's and talk I'm about so that. Glad, I'm so glad you asked that question. And listen, we've got 33,000 of the best ambassadors of this brand running around. And I appreciate that everyone has the same passion to really extend this family that we're talking about because it is a family. And so I actually love and embrace that because everyone has welcomed me so warmly from the very first day. And it's something that really is, is, is so special to me. And, and I am yeah. so, I'm so appreciative of that. And I understand that that's the passion that everyone is going with. And they, you know, everyone wants to just give everyone correct information. The problem is we just don't have that information yet. So we're building the model and the model will differ. So when people go on and are trying to do attract people in these five countries that we've spoken about, I will please ask you not to, because what's happening is that people are expressing the US model. And I can tell you that it will absolutely not be the US model. I'll repeat that. It will not be the US model. There, there are a lot of things that um, a lot of the third party vendors we use in the US have no capability outside of the US. So it is not anything that we can use. Um, you know, the, the things like health insurance will absolutely not be available outside of the United States. And we cannot say that it will be and then disappoint. It will absolutely not be available in the, outside of the United States. Love it. So there are things that we have to just be very careful about. We just need to just talk about the concept of EXP as a concept. Even the 80-20 split will probably not be the same in some countries. It is not the same now outside of the United States. So it is not an 80-20 split in the three countries we're currently in. So there are uh, things that will absolutely vary. I haven't built those variables yet because we build those variables based on competitive information, based on the fact that we want to be able to come in and be the most competitive brand out there. We also need to figure out what our deliverables will be. And there is a cost associated with each one of those deliverables that need to be bespoke for each one of the countries that we're in. So, and it's, it's the idea that we are doing this all simultaneously for five different countries. We are almost done with the South Africa model. The moment that we are, we will share that with everyone so that everyone has the correct script and information. We're very far along with Portugal and France as the next models that we're building. We're just getting on to the final aspects of those. We will share that with everyone once that is done. And so those three will be out and running. Mexico is a very complicated country. And so we are trying to figure out the best methodology to come in and the best model for that. Uh, we're getting very creative in some methodologies of doing that. I've opened four brands in Mexico, so I know how to do it. And it's just the idea that we want to make sure that this is the best model for the country in order for us to grow exponentially with Mexico. And then India, the same thing. So every Beautiful. model will be different. Beautiful. So if I heard you right, and yes. I just want clarity for everybody, when we go to any of these countries, say, you're going to have healthcare, you're going to have KV core, you're going to have sky slope. They may not have any of that. You will but not have any of that. The concept of EXP, the concept is, is going to be similar, right? Absolutely. Where you can tell agents to become the sponsor and they can tell people 100%. and they'll be 
there'll be revenue sharing in those yes. countries. Yeah. Um, don't know what the stock award thing looks like. And we don't know caps. Like in it's 16,000 in the US. We don't know what the cap will be in their country, what's competitive in their country. That is correct. And, we, and splits. So these are the variables. But when you talk to them, talk to them in terms of the concept. If you like this kind of a concept, baby, look out. Is that a fair way to put it? That's a hundred percent accurate, Brent. That's exactly what it is. Speaking from the macro, speaking from the concept of what this is, there's going to be a, a revenue share for sure. There's going to be stock participation for sure. Everything that we, and it's going to be very competitive as far as the the splits and the caps in every country that we're in beautiful you know it's you listen i sat with glenn the other day and we were going through the portugal model and i told him what our competitors were doing and he sort of says nope let's cut that further and so we're working through those numbers now we're getting really competitive in every market that we're in it's going to be really exciting once we share everything with everyone I and we're on the final stages it. of three countries i love it so Final question, then yeah. we're going to transition here. Say someone's watching this and they go, my grandfather owns a company in, in India or Portugal, or my yeah. best friend runs a real estate company in France, you know, or, or, right, or I'm from uh, South Africa and I have this superstar agent. How do I get them in touch with Michael Valdez? What do I do in the time being? Where, what's my outlet? Where do I go to connect my person that I want to sponsor in one of these countries? What do I do? And, so, and of course, if they're a, a, an agent doing a little bit of production, sure. but if it's a big star, so there's two, to me, there's two things. There's someone doing a million, two, three million a year. And then there's people who own companies with 50, a hundred, two, three, four, 500, 2000 agents. I'd imagine those big connections get somehow connected to you through workplace chat you got it. What's the outlet? So the, uh, and thank you for that question, Brent. And um, I think that we have set up a global website, which is expglobal.net. So expglobal.net. That will allow anyone to come in and pre-register anyone who's interested in any of those five countries. We then, um, that becomes a CRM system for us. It also, that same website allows somebody who is interested in anything in any countries that are outside of those five countries that we announced. So that's a different uh, link, but it's on the same site. And that will allow us to know where the interest is for any other countries we might be looking at. I have over 20 countries in a pipeline for next year that will give us a very robust pipeline next year. Next year, I have a very aggressive goal, which I'm not gonna share just yet. Uh, and so it is, um, it's something that's gonna be really very exciting for us. Now, if there is an opportunity where there is a brokerage of, you know, a couple of hundred agents or more, then yes, that is something that I'd like to have a conversation with. It's a different conversation to have. So the larger brokerages, are needing to be dealt with a little bit differently because it's almost as though it's a it's a um, it's a business coming over to another platform, and so we need to make them understand that more from a financial point of view. If the brokerage is large enough, we'll run financial analytics for them. Um, so it's a different conversation to have, which I'm happy to to have with them if the opportunity is the correct one. Um, right. And that's what we've been doing a lot for right now. So if somebody's in Japan or Thailand or Bangkok or the Philippines or China and they have this amazing relationship with like their best friend from college who has this amazing 900 agent or 1900 agent company or 10,000 and they're like, we really want to look at EXP, they, they should just connect them to you. Um, yeah. I see. Yeah. And then, you know, I'll have somebody on my team jump into the first call and all of those countries you just rattled out would have different answers as well. Right. Right. So, and, uh, so I'm well, happy to sort of give you, somebody. Go ahead. Just because you connect them to Michael does not mean you'll be the sponsor. Michael's not going to take them. He'll do his best. Ultimately, they get to pick their sponsor. Just So just because you go and connect them to Michael, don't think it's over. It's done. I'm the sponsor. You're not the sponsor till they type your name in. Um, is that correct, Michael? I just That's don't want to. That's 100% correct. And it's also the fact that um, um, Michael is not the first call. He's the last call. 
So yeah. it's somebody that needs to know that they are already, um, they know the EXP model. They're excited about the EXP model. This is not someone, here's a friend of mine that has 900 agents, tell them all about EXP. Yeah. I would love to, Thank I you. just don't have the time to. Beautiful. Thank you for saying that. He's the last call. Let myself, let Gene Frederick, let Donna and Allison Gaddy, Scott Lewis, you know, Tracy, Dave Gagnon, whoever, whoever you're, Jane, Ashley, Nelson, there's Pat Hayes. Let yeah. us get in there. We could talk to him about concepts. And once like, oh, man, we are really interested. We are, we're like, we think we're all in. Then it goes, is that That's a fair way? Okay. 100% fair. Yep. Got it. Okay. We have like one minute left and then I got to wrap this up with five minutes of mind blowing information. I, my talks cut down from 20 to five. I'll make it work. Anything you want to say to everyone as we wrap this up, any encouragement uh, to the agents? Listen, I, I will. I will say that right now we are in, uh, in at thirty three thousand plus agents, right? And so, with all the conversations that we're having, I can tell you this: in South Africa, with everything that we're working on right now, we'll either be the number one or the number two agency coming in before we even open doors. And so, just think about that. It will be the idea that we are going to be the disruptor in this industry on a global scale. Everyone talks about some other brands being disruptors. This is the only true disruptor that exists in the industry. And if anyone actually needs some proof, just look at what the stock is that in the last 100 days, when we started announcing all of our announcements, when we announced, you know, my coming over, Courtney coming over, you know, Kent Chang as our global controller, when we start thinking about the acquisition of Showcase IDX, when we start thinking about the five countries that we've announced, when we start thinking about the most profitable quarter in the company's 10 year history, when we started going by, by, by everything, it, th this is a story that is being built. This is a story that is going to be in the most amazing story of our industry. Mark my words on a global scale. I love it. I was just looking around my desk to see if my sunglasses are on because the future is looking pretty bright. <laughs> I was going to put them on. I am so uh, stoked. Everybody is, man. One team, one dream. Thank you, Michael Valdez, for being here today. We love you. You're a great guest, and we are so grateful you're at EXP. I'm grateful to be here with all of you. Thank you for all you've done beforehand, and thank you for this Bye. platform. Take care. Bye-bye Take care. Right. now. Right. See ya. Okay, so today I'm going to wrap it up with some important information. I'm going to go fast. Take notes. Write this down. Business planning clinics are coming up the third week in November nationwide. They're going to be in almost every major city in America, and they're going to be led by Pat Hayes and, and Scott Lewis and Gene Frederick and all the leaders because you guys are going to set them up. I'm setting them up here in Sacramento. And so you think, well, I don't know if I'm a leader. You're a leader. I wave the magic wand. And you get people from Tom Ferry, coaches, Mike Ferry, coaches, Brian Buffini, Joe Stump, Craig Proctor. Um, there's uh, the wealth, uh, what do they call that? Um, Michael Hellickson, wealth, uh, wealth club wealth. wealth, club wealth. You got um, Rick Jihad's company. What's that one called? Shoot, I'm blinking out. Um, so there's so many great coaching companies out there. And they will come, they, they speak all the time. They'll bring business planning brochures and, and gather people. November's when you want to do it. You can do it last third or fourth week in October, but I like the third week in November. You got to have a clear vision for 2021. So third week in November, they're going to help them throughout the U.S. and Canada, Australia, and the U.K. So start booking those and get, get with your leaders and, and get good speakers and, and do business planning clinics for 50, 100. Ours, we'll probably have 500 in Sacramento. And we invite 100, 200 guests. They're blown away. We got the music pumping. We have amazing speakers. Everyone gets business planning workbooks. Just make it happen. Figure it out. You reach out to Mike Ferry and Tom Ferry and Joe Stump and Brian Buffini and Craig Proctor and Kinder and the different coaching organizations. Workmen. It's called Workmen. Workman Solutions and Michael Hellickson with Club Wealth and there's um, uh, Y Lopo and there's all these different companies. They'll come. Maybe you're not the guy you have the confidence. Get the speaker. Sean Kokoska does them all the time. Ask Sean Kokoska to come. Ex-president of MAPS Coaching Worldwide for Keller Waves, now at EXP. Let him do your, your business master. I think we had him last year, right? Yep. Excellent. Excellent. So you have not because you ask not. Set up those business planning clinics 
for, so we can all plan for 2021, third week in November. Also, registration for Cabo starts uh, September 15th. We'll have the website up. You'll all get an email. And we're going to be in Cabo. The date for Cabo, I'm blinking out right now. February 21st through the 26th. February 21st through the 26th. Now, the cool thing is you come three days early and get our rates. It's 225 a night, including your lodging, all of your meals at the Hyatt Ziva, um, all the entertainment, adult beverages, everything, 225 a night at the Hyatt. This isn't like an old Hyatt. This is a five-star, top-of-the-line Hyatt Ziva on the water, beautiful beach, golf, tropical paradise. It's our mastermind in the tropics. Again, February 21st through the 25th or 6th. And you can come three days early and get our rates. And you, or maybe you can't come early, but you can stay three days late or two days and still get our rates of 225 a night ocean view. Finances are tight. You can get a non-ocean view, partial ocean view. Those are 200 a night. Save 25 bucks a night. Splurge, spend the 25, you're worth it. So again, September 15th, the website will be out. You can register. I would register quickly. It will sell out. Fair warning, it'll sell out like that. There'll be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the who's who at EXP there. It's going to be a big deal. Bring a guest. It'll blow their mind. You need a vacation. Come have fun with us. Golf, swim, snorkel, scuba, lay in a hammock, enjoy the beach, the infinity edge pool, all the good stuff. Look up the Hyatt Ziba in Cabo. It's stunning. And then um, on the 15th, sign up. You get your room through the website. You register through the website. It's all handled right through the website. Do not go to the hotel direct. It'll, it'll mess it up. You will pay more. And, um, and so we got to get you all connected, okay? So do that. Uh, next, plan Christmas parties for your team. Uh, get people together at your home. If you got a cabin, plan one up at the cabin. You got a beach house, a lake house, go do that. Um, but you're the leader. Set up the, the uh, you know, whatever you could do that's, you know, obviously we can't do it in Sacramento with 500 people with COVID, but you could certainly get 25 to 40 people together. I was in South San Francisco, just had 45 people to lunch. We were spread out, tables of four or five, and we were six feet apart. Outdoor dining, downtown Burlingame, awesome. Great food, great times, 11.30 to 1, great community. There were all kinds of guests from prominent companies, Sotheby's, Gala Williams, Remax. Um, they're all like, we're in. How do we know more? This is amazing. I just signed up. I'm about to sign up. It was a great time. And all we did was have lunch. And people could see how fun we are, so to say that. Also, get together with your groups. People want to belong to a tribe. They want community. They want to be a part of a movement. They want to be included. We throw a movie night at your house. Order some Little Caesars pizza, Domino's pizza. It doesn't have to be round table. I mean, you don't have to spend a fortune. Have a barbecue. Throw some hot dogs and patties on the grill with some lettuce, tomato, pickle, and a sesame seed bun. And, and, and get some Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or a, a adult beverage. And have your group over, 10 of them, 20 of them, 30, whatever. This uh, Saturday, Johnny. This Saturday, I am doing a luau for people I personally sponsored at EXP at my house. I'm roasting a pig. I'm having it catered. There'll be tiki torches and drinks with little umbrellas in them and the water pool and waterfall and palm trees. It'll be a full-blown, like, we have a chef carving the roasted pig. It's going to be crazy. I'm doing something fun for my, you do something. I can't do, I can't afford to get a roasted pig. Get a $6 Little Caesar pizza. Get two of them. I'll send you 12 bucks. And have people do a movie night. You know, see, it's your cycle. I can't afford that. I don't have a cool accent like Jennifer on Gina. You guys are beautiful. Be authentic. Be you. So we've talked a lot about the vision where we're going the next 10 years. It's going to be mind-blowing. This is the time. This is the place. Welcome to the next. Um, resistance, as soon as you make a decision to do this, all hell is going to break loose. Your car is going to break down. You're probably losing an escrow. That's just life, right? Stuff happens and you got to power through it and you will step up you know and, and 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 just come on you're an overcomer you you can do this you're resilient you, you you're gonna you're gonna get it and so um and then finally this what is your greatest asset it's hunger hunger is your great hunger is why you're gonna figure this thing out um we have an agent uh uh and she sold five homes her first year and then the next year in the first six months she sold 32 What's that mean? She figured it out. I'm frustrated. I don't get agent attraction yet. Good. Frustration 
is a precursor to success. I hope you're frosted. I hope you are so frustrated and that hunger drives you to figure it out. Because once you figure it out, it took me 10 years to learn how to become a listing agent. Then there was total freedom. I had 18 to 28 listings. It was more controllable. Now, here's what they never tell you. That means I had 18 to 28 little bosses. <laughs> Little Napoleons, why isn't my home being advertised in Unique Homes magazine? Your agent for the open house showed up 20 minutes late. We sat in the front driveway with our kids and the dog with the air conditioner running, and we are pissed. And I'm like, you know, it's like, I don't miss that. And so, like, again, it's you, how do I get clients? And then you become a buyer's agent, you turn up to a listing agent, then you build a team, then you go buy a franchise or go independent. Skip all that. Welcome to the next. We will fight for you. We will go to work for you. So bottom line, enthusiasm is contagious. Um, passion is infectious. So man, be out there, be real, um, be human, come from the heart. People will respond, just be sincere. You don't have to be anyone, but be yourself and be excited. People are attracted to it, like bees to honey. Uh, and so um, finally, I will see you in Cabo, February the 21st. Don't miss it. Bring some guests. Watch your business grow. Come join us on vacation at our mastermind in the tropics. Love you all. Hope you enjoyed today. We'll see you here next Wednesday. Same time, same place, 10 a.m. We'll send out the links this week. Can they use the same link for next week? Same link every week. Same link every week. So save this link. We'll see you next Wednesday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 Eastern, 12 Central. We'll see you here. Love you all. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.